So now let's simplify the formula we just found. We notice that we have a common term negative n times f, so let's divide the whole equation by negative n times f. What we get is this whole guy here. So these guys cancel, this guy becomes negative, and now we have the denominator on this term here. This equation is called the Nernst equation, and it can be used to find the cell voltage under non-standard state conditions, where this guy is our cell voltage under non-standard state conditions. So we basically plug this guy in and all these guys in, and we get our cell voltage for non-standard state conditions. Now this guy can be simplified even further, because notice we have a constant R, a constant F, and, we're, and if we're given some constant temperature, say 25 degrees Celsius, the most common temperature, room temperature, we could plug these guys in and simplify this whole guy to simply this guy here. Look, we rewrite this formula, we get this, we plug in our, our constant, our gas constant, our temperature in Kelvin, and our Faraday's constant, we plug this into the calculator and we get this number to be 0 0.0257. So this is a simplified version of this guy. But we're not done. Notice we have natural logs. We never want to deal with natural logs. We always want to convert natural logs into easier logs, say log base 10. So that means we have to use this mathematical formula that relates bases of logs. And what we basically have to realize is that log, or natural log of Q is the same thing as this guy divided by this guy. It's just a formula. You can look that up online. So we take this guy, we plug it into this LNQ, and that means we are left with log base 10Q on the top, and on the bottom we have this log of base 10 of E. We plug this into the calculator, and, when, and then we divide uh, 0 0.025 by this number to get our 0 0.0592. So once again, we take this guy, we plug it into this LNQ, we use a calculator to find this number, and our final Nernst equation at 25 degrees Celsius is this following equation. Now, if this was a different temperature, I'd go back to my equation in part E, and I'd plug in a different temperature here and solve it the same way and get a new value, numerical value here. Now, last thing I want to mention is notice that if Q is equal to 1, that means our log of 1 is 0. So what we get is our cell voltage is simply cell voltage under standard state conditions. And that means this holds true as well. Well, why is this the case? Well, if our Q is 1, that means this Q is 1. So our ratio of concentrations of products or reactants is 1. That means this guy, this guy, and this guy, and this guy has molarity of 1. But that's simply standard state condition, right? It's assumed that molarity is 1 under those conditions. That's exactly what this states. Now also notice what this formula states. It basically states that if if our Q is bigger than 1, if it's large, that means our final voltage will be less than our uh, voltage under standard conditions. And that makes sense, because that's exactly what Le Chatelier principle says. It says that if we have more products, then our reaction will be less product favored and more reactant favored.